Hello, Whiskey Ginger fans. It's me, the Red Rocket. You want to come see the Red Rocket live? I got a bunch of stand updates. I've told you it's the Red Rocket 2020 tour, baby. I'm excited. Right now, at this very moment, I myself am in Minnesota. I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota, man. Tomorrow night, I'm going to be in Madison, Wisconsin. Come out and see me, boy. Next weekend, I'm going to be uh, having some fun with my uh, with my homeboys, not on tour, take a little bit of time off. Um, and then I'm going to be in Vancouver at JFL North, uh, and the dates for that are going to be February 15 and 16. I'll be in Vancouver. On the 22nd, I'll be in Bakersfield, California. And then 28th, I'll be in St. Andrews Hall in Detroit, Michigan. 29th, I'll be in Atlanta, Georgia. March uh, 5, 6, 7, Philly Punchline. March 13th, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, and I'm putting up all the dates you can look up online. It keeps going and going and going and going and going and going. Um, and it never stops. Uh, go to andrewsantino.com for tickets. You can also go to andrewsantino.com, sign up for the Patreon. Uh, we're putting up so much new, amazing, incredible content you can't get here. You can only get there. Um, three different tiers, cool stuff at each tier. Also, you can go to andrewsantino.com and check out some merch. Uh, we have amazing merch like hats and shirts and a hoodie. We got all sorts of cool stuff. So go to andrewsantino.com. Stop asking me, when are you coming to um, when are you coming to Miami? Uh, it doesn't say it on the... It says it. It says it on the tour. Go to andrewsantino.com. Click on the fucking tab that says tour. Then click on merch. And then click on Patreon. Then click on YouTube or Twitter. Whatever the fuck you want to know, it's at andrewsantino.com. Please just check it out there. It's that easy. Thank you so much. Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is an incredible place to go if you're looking for a new website, get some new domain names, create something new for yourself. If you're trying to generate some self-worth on the internet, whether or not you're making a website for yourself, for your business, just for fun, for your wedding, for selling jewelry, for doing makeup, whatever you want to do, you can go ahead and do it on Squarespace. They are um, incredible. They have so many options for you as a user to use templates that they can give you, examples, they have trials, they have all sorts of intel on analytics, helping you set up your website, create a website, manage your website, publish your website, put it out to the world. Squarespace is extremely simple to use. I've used a million different places. I'm being honest about that. It's a pain in the tush. I've used a million different uh, uh, website creating uh, apps and and, and, and sources and um, Squarespace, Squarespace, Squarespace has been very simple for me. Um, they're dope. They really are. They're, they're an incredible, uh, platform to begin with. If you don't know what you're doing, or if you're an expert, it still is uh, a great place to go to set up your website or domain for whatever it may be that you need it for. So do yourself a favor, go to squarespace.com slash whiskey, get yourself a free trial. And then when you're ready, you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain by entering the offer code whiskey. As always, whiskey is always the code. Go to squarespace.com slash whiskey. Use that promo code whiskey. Make it yourself and stand out, dude. You know, do yourself a favor. Stand out from the rest of the pack. Destiny is calling you, my friend. You should keep dreaming, but make it all a reality. Set up your website now with Squarespace. Squarespace.com slash whiskey. Promo code whiskey. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it for these two gentlemen, especially today, two of the sexiest motherfucking toots on this side of the Mississippi. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Giannis Pappas and Chris DeStefano. Jan cool. Pop and Chrissy D, kids. What's up, babe? Ladder 14's inside of my house. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You guys Wait, excited yeah. to be yeah. here? And we have to take yeah. our shoes off like Asian women. Yeah. You had to take your little Look shoes off. Can I take my socks off or yeah. no? Leave your socks on. Look at you have red socks. That looks so cute. Yeah. Well, because I'm trying you know, it's a lot of things. We're out in Los Angeles. So I want to be like bling and pop. So right, did you all ever black with red socks? Have you ever noticed that his foot, put it to the side, is actually shaped like it's in a high heel? Yeah. Oh, was that because of when you were a kid? Yeah, because he used yeah. to put them on a lot. Yeah, yeah. Put them on a lot. You yeah. would you would you wear your mom's heels around the house? Absolutely. Well, yeah. There was a story. Um, I I was wearing my mom's heels. <laughs> the McCloney brothers used to fuck with me. 
And um, one time I was, they made me dress up in my mother's high heels, butt naked, go downstairs in my mother's high heels with the Miami, Do Miami Dolphins football helmet on and go answer the door for the Chinese delivery guy. And then one of them pushed me out and I fell down the stairs outside onto the New York City public sidewalk and they locked the door. Yeah. And I was out there on an August day for about an hour. And your mom's got big, she's got big feet. For My mom's got big, so huge you, feet. So what size are your feet? What? What size are your feet? I got, I got 12s. I got 12? 12s. What are you? I'm a 10. Giannis is a 10. You know what that means. What? You live longer. Does that really? mean that? Yeah, smaller feet means they live long. Look at the Asians; those motherfuckers live to be a thousand. Yeah, because they, got they have tiny little feet. feet. Yeah, yeah, tiny little feet. You got big feet. You got a big 12, 12 too. and a half. Yeah, yeah. it sucks. I'm yeah. gonna die soon. You yeah. and I are on the same path. I'm gonna yeah, play no. footsies with both of you during this. Just Come here, man. Let's yeah, all put it in there. Yeah, it's gonna be a good podcast. <laughs> that feels and if, if this podcast, <laughs> if this podcast doesn't end with a red yeah. pubic hair wrapped around my uvula like I'm fucking tying one off to shoot heroin, it's not a good podcast. That's what it is. You I know saw how the clip the last time he was here, you were telling him about how if you had a Claret and D, you were going to suck, suck his dick. You were. Something yeah. about you brings mm -hmm. out the girl in him. I don't know, because yeah. I, I, cause, cause uh, we're each other's type. You know, We probably we would have had sex, yeah. and you would have taped it. I would have taped it, yeah. yeah. I'm, a pro I'm more of a producer would be my role. Yeah, I'd yeah. <laughs> be like setting you guys up. Be like, okay, that was good. Let's You'd be a it. director? Yeah, I'd be yeah? a director. Yeah, what right. would you be? I've thought about this the other, the other day. I was thinking about what role would you play in a porno? You know, like of all the character roles that you see in pornography, what role would you think you'd play? Oh God, I think I'd be the I think I'd be the girl in a lesbian scene. You'd be the girl in a lesbian yeah, scene, really? So, yeah. Is that your most? You think that'd be your most comfortable spot? I think that's my most comfortable spot. I think that's truly who I am. I think I have a woman's brain. I do. Yeah. I have a little bit of a woman's brain. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why do you say that? I cry at movies. Um, what movie? What was the last movie you cried at? Uh, all of them. What's the last movie I saw? Uh, Uncut Gems. I cried. You did? Yeah, I cried. What part? I, at the end when he got shot in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Happens. Because I told totally, Spoiler. Yeah. It's yeah. A, 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 if you haven't seen it, uh, yeah. if you haven't seen it, Adam Sandler got shot in the face there. We fucked yeah, it for you. Actually, you fucked it up. Yeah, that was a spoiler. Yeah, that's yeah, a spoiler. Actually, it doesn't really it. matter. No, yeah, you should have yeah. seen it by now. You I feel like... That anyway. You see it for like what it feels like to do cocaine. That's yeah. what that, that movie is like. And it's, Did you like it? It was intense. I loved it. But it was like 100 miles an hour from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you like it? Uncut Gems, I really, really, really liked it. You did? I really liked it. I think Adam Sandler... Uh, was great in it. And that was snuck. Adam Sandler? That was Adam Sandler. Dude. It'll be so great. Some asshole has no fucking idea yeah. with the whole movie. That was Adam? Yeah. That was Adam fucking Sandler. You think he guy. got snubbed? I, t I, was, I want to talk to you guys because that's a whole thing now, the getting the snub thing. I read it online. You know, uh, does any, do you care? I don't care. I don't care about any of it. So it's who like, cares who gets it's snubbed? It's stupid. It's like, I, you know, I just want to be on people's podcasts. It's like, what is your dumb award going to do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Adam Sandler, if you got a podcast, I'll be on it. Otherwise, yeah, I'll be on I don't it. care what you're doing. I don't doing. give a fuck. Nobody yeah. cares about the movies and TV. Nobody cares. No one cares at all. Well, here's the problem. I think that we, like, I don't care. I don't ever really seek an award, that kind of thing. But I know, what if they, they had podcast awards, like funniest podcast stuff? Yeah. That We'd want it. Yeah, yeah see? That's my point is, so we all are, are able to poo-poo stuff until it's about us. And then right. we're like, okay, I want it. I you, want it. True. That's true. We're just, humans are just bad. We're just generally not. We're pieces good. of shit. We're pieces of shit. Yeah. And we need, we, we need validation at, at any level. Any, anyone that says, you know, the famous actors that are like, oh, I don't care. I don't need it. It's like, secretly, everybody does want everything. Like, yeah. look, I, I, the Ricky Gervais thing that got around of the Golden Globes, I, I called Burr and Bill and I were talking about something else and then he, I just brought it up and man he let me fucking have it right yeah. <laughs> because I was like oh it was so funny he was like yeah but you know it's just like it's an it's it's like that's what happens to Hollywood all the time is yeah. they get shit on he's like it's not like a surprising thing right to watch someone shit on celebrities. I was like, oh, that's really, that's true. Because he got a lot of, he got a lot of praise. Everyone was like, this is incredible. I loved it too. But that's Bill's inside perspective. I think for the, the, the Oscars, what was it, the Golden Globes, whatever the fuck it was. The, the Golden Globes, uh, it attracts an audience that otherwise wouldn't be tuning into that Hollywood, that sure. Hollywood shit. So it was good. He was sort of, he had the platform and he did it. Yeah. Which I think was cathartic for a lot of people, like ordinary people. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. But, but the problem is he does it every year. That's the thing. Is like right. that, I think that's what Bill was saying was like, yeah. it's nothing new. They hire, You know when this whole like, what's he going to say? It's like, well, probably the same fucked up shit he said last yeah, year. Yeah. It's just going to be more extreme. Cause, He's not going to do it th 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 next year. No, nah, no, of course. No, but, but also like he got what he wanted out of it. I saw him tweet yeah. online. He was like, thanks for the new 3 million followers. Yeah. 3 million or some That's, shit like yeah. that. He sold out. He just sold the quickest ticket sales. He sold like it was like a over highest the highest selling artist in the history of yeah. uh, and and the most viewed Netflix special. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, wait, what? No, really? Yeah. That's does that not surprise you? I feel like that was for some reason. I thought Chappelle had had that number because well, he's international. I think it's a little bit international. If you go, you think foreigners don't like black people? I think foreigners I know they don't, don't like black people. You know they don't. I don't. I'm not going to say. I think I know that. Yeah, you yeah. know that. I yeah, I mean they throw bananas on the field oh, in soccer wow. games. Yeah. yeah. They do do that. They do that. It's not, it's not right, but it does happen. And then they accuse us of being racist. 
Yeah. It's like when you go to their soccer games, you just see a whole section doing Nazi shit. Yeah, yeah, they do Nazi shit. Yeah, right. Isn't that funny that... uh, What section is that? Huh? What section is that? Nazi 104 to 108. Are the tickets always reasonable on that one? Oh my God, they're so good. I'll go. They're so good. If a regular ticket is 105 bucks, that thing keeps tipping. I'm sorry about that. You know what? Put it to your side. Put it to your right it, side. I'm, I'm yeah. teaching Chris how to move the mic to the side. Put it right. Oh, and this and this feels nicer, and I can yeah. stretch out my high heeled feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to someone over the weekend about that. That everybody says America's racist. I was in Canada, right? And, and and the perception of of perception of America is bullshit to me from Canadians because all they do is talk shit. But in in, in a time of need of literally anything, yeah. Where would they fucking go to? Exactly. Yeah, you need us. You yeah. need us. And, okay. And the U.S. is always the one sending the troops. Yeah. Yeah. And we're the one who like how racist are we really? We elected a black president twice. Yeah, two times. We We've had a uh, black uh, Supreme Court justice. Black every hey, every high office. The mayor of Chicago yeah. is a black gay woman. I mean, what there the fuck? What we? Yeah. Bum, 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 we did it. Yeah, bum, did bum, it. bum. Yeah. That's I mean, a casino. Yeah. Ring, ring, ring. Yeah. All the coins come out. I mean, yeah. 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 It's like if you have any discrimination, it's in those three categories. It's, that's it. We knocked it out of the fucking park. And yeah. she won. And she, she won. So I'm just won. saying, I think like they, we get a lot of heat for being racist. You know why? Because we have a country filled with everybody. Mm-hmm. Go to fucking France. Ask how they feel about Spanish people. Be like, right. oh, you guys like Spain? See what they say. Yeah. And you're like, oh, we're racist? They're the most fucking... Everyone else around the world is territorial and racist, and it's allowed to be yeah. because their country isn't. It's 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 one culture. Yeah, right. right. Go to Japan. Right. You can't even fucking rent an apartment there if you're not Japanese. You know how hard it is to buy property in Japan if you're not Japanese. Really, it's almost impossible. I mean, we, I could see them not wanting to rent or sell to Americans because I mean, we did some damage. To what do we people. do? <laughs> we dropped the. We put. Okay, so you know you have a hot pocket. Yeah. yeah. You put it in the microwave. Yeah. That's what we did to the country. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They dropped yeah. the bomb and then they heard Jim Gaffigan's voice go, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The crack was perfect. Yeah, hot I pocket. Yeah, yeah. I've just been talking all day. Yeah. By the way, Hot Pockets tweeted out the other day. They were like, we need, to, we need to work with new influencers. Anybody got any ideas? And someone tagged me for some reason. Yeah. And I was like, this is Jim Gaffigan territory. They thought you were Jim Gaffigan? And they, no, no, no. And they said, and they literally go, Hot Pockets tweeted me and goes, uh, no, it's not. Or something like that, and I wrote, "Hey, hot pockets." Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, he like he br- he made you guys relevant again. Fifty million people heard that bit. It went yeah. around the internet a thousand times Who every eats day. Hot pockets. If you are eating hot pockets, so you're a piece of shit. Yeah, I'll say that to your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every lean pocket. You know what's so funny? Bags. A fan right now is eating a hot pocket, putting <laughs> yeah. it down, sliding the plate away. Yeah. I don't eat that shit. That's that's fucked up. Do you do you guys eat embarrassing stuff? What's your what's your sad meal? My um. Well, He's I like gonna have some good sweets ones. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, definitely sweets. I like to eat. I'm a kid. I'm Chrissy Tiramisu's. I like tiramisu <laughs> a lot. I'll eat two to three tiramisu's in a in a sitting. Where pot. from? Where from? Um, Gino's, uh, Gino's Pizza uh, on Fifth Avenue, Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Shout wow. out! That's the first time they got shouted out all the way from Los Angeles. Los Angeles, Cal- <laughs> we're, we're in fucking Los Angeles, California. Shout out Smithtown Water as well. Why not? And then I also like um, my move is what I like is I like uh, is I like um, uh, two regular slices and I also get um, uh, penny vodka with grilled chicken yeah. and I put the penny vodka and grilled chicken on the slices. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, with tiramisu and I like a diet coke. Yeah. Why do you Diet Coke? I like a Diet Coke. No, no calories. I love that when you fucking <laughs> eat that and then you try diet to cut, Coke? cut a corner on the drink. Yeah, right. I do a Diet Coke. And I'm a big kid. I like Teddy Grahams. I like chocolate Teddy Grahams. Oh. I pour those in a bowl with almond milk and I eat those to the face and I pull a little Nutella and peanut butter in it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I've got a real sweets problem. Yeah, yeah, you do, but you but you don't have you're not a fat guy. Well, I, I, you're you know, a thick I try boy. To, like, train a lot. Yeah, I thick try to, boy. Uh, but I was I was a chunky monkey um, a couple of years ago. But I'm just yeah, I still eat. Like bad, but I, I train. I try to train. What's yours? What's your dirty little secret? I'll tell you mine, but before he has a he's an in shape kid, but he's he does have a weirdly big ass. Yeah. He's no, I like, seen your yeah. butt. Your butt's big. Right. Actually, that's why your 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 special came out and you said 30 size, size, size 36, 38, waist. 38 waist. Yeah. And the only reason it's 38 is because your tush. Yeah. My tushy. Because exactly. your hips aren't that big. Well, no, no. It's 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 you know the uh, it's what I've said about myself before, and I'm, I have leading man face, best friend body. You got leading that's man <laughs> face and Yamanika Sanders' ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah shout out Yam. <laughs> So yeah. we, I heard you white motherfuckers talking shit about me. Yeah, yeah. She well, hears it already. This isn't even out yet. She hears, she hears it. She hears it. Lunch lady ass. <laughs> he, uh, when my, uh, at my father's funeral, Chris came and uh, there was a, you know, when they asked everyone. That was a good day when his I dad mean, died. I, yeah. I was, I'm sad. Stoked? You were stoked? Yeah, it was just, you know, well, it was just, you know, yeah, it was just Giannis was happy. Yeah. 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 Relief? It was relief. relief. Fine. Yeah. yeah. So, but um, they <laughs> asked people to come up to say goodbye to the coffin and Chris, he went up and I'm sad in the front, you know? And uh, this is why I love Chris. He just makes me laugh at the worst times. He stepped up onto the altar 
to you know like to to go and when he stepped up the back of his sh- uh, jacket flared open and his ass just popped out <laughs> <laughs> like it was a cartoon like an accordion it just yeah. kind of popped yeah, out yeah, yeah. he's got a big ass that like it like it just came out it was beautiful it, it though it was hilarious I mean it was really it was fun. La- I turned around and so I was laughing at my dad's funeral because it, and his it wife was, was pissed yeah it was, really was, it looked weird because I just laughed I mean, but he's it, laughing but it, in the front row of his dad's yeah, funeral but it wasn't on purpose it wasn't on purpose I know but I got a big ass yeah it was so funny. what that's for fun yeah it was that's for fun purpose to make yanni laugh what would your dad have said uh, my dad would have loved it my dad was that type of guy he would have loved it he yeah. thought that was funny people right? three dollar bills he used to so call three dollar bills <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad called, hey, guys, three dollar. he would always call <laughs> hey, guy, that guy's gay like a three dollar bill uh, like, i'm like all right that's, whatever you say guy yeah that generation what, made up stuff that didn't make sense they did. yeah. johnny pump that's a big one they like the johnny, johnny pump Pumps. johnny pump vestibules yeah that yeah. is that. That's Puerto gay Ricans. guys. Pu- Puerto Ricans. They always pronounce the Puerta. Puerta. Puerto Ricans. By the yeah. way, this bothers me. Do you guys say huge or huge? I say huge. huge. You do. New York says huge. Yeah. They huge. love that. Yeah. Huge. You say huge. We say, say huge. Say huge. Huge. Hard to do, isn't it? For Hard some reason, unless you grow up with it. Fucking huge. But if I say, oh my god, that thing is huge. People look at me like I'm a fucking psycho. Yeah, like, what are you fucking huge. Say? huge. Huge. Oh, that's huge. fucking huge. huge. You say it like you know Trump does. What you do? Trump goes huge. 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 Yeah. Huge. And huge. he's saying it right. Like most things he's uh, saying right. Every, so no, you you agree with 95 to 97% of what he says. And we talked about it's this before. He does, yeah. 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 Public, public, no. You would never tell the world how big of a fan you are. Yeah. Uh, not until now. So, yeah. <laughs> if you think my hand is not going immediately to the right in that voting booth in November 2020, you got another thing coming. <laughs> He's getting, he's getting it big. This is a, ter- this is terrible. But I opened the show all weekend this weekend, and I said, I said, uh, I thank you guys for coming out. I don't know if you guys are paying attention to what's going on around the world right now, especially Australia. It's very sad. It's heartbreaking. So I want to let you guys know. I've decided tonight all the ticket sales, every single dollar tonight of your tickets, and people are already like, whoa, and like every single dollar is going to Trump 2020 campaign. <laughs> yeah, his 2020 campaign. Really Whether you like him or not, you've invested. You've invested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that funny to fuck it's with someone to take hilarious. their ticket sales and do that would be yeah. would be wild if I did that shit. Hell yeah. And then I and I'd listen their names because they bought it online i could list their names that donated yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. no nah, man you decided to pay me so i'm gonna donate to his camp yeah. yeah half of the i mean the crowd loved it they they lost it but then afterwards someone woman was like are you really gonna donate your ticket sales i was like no oh. no what are you like people are so fucking so dumb, fucking dumb. They come up like, so you dumb really have a wife yeah like, what <laughs> when people, yeah, when people <laughs> go to you after after a comedy show and ask if you meant something or say they're offended by something it's almost like going into a pizza store and going, do you guys sell pizza? You guys have pizza here? Yeah, I mean, it's a fucking comedy show. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. I mean, if you're taking anything literally, you obviously are missing where the store you're in. 100%. This, yeah. this, this, uh, this woman said this weekend, uh, she goes, um, she asked, I, I did a joke on, on your mom's house, on, on uh, Segura's, and I did, I did this whole joke that um, I didn't, I was paying for another man's life, and I was decided that I was getting out of comedy and getting into porn. And I wanted to further my career as a as a pornographic actor. Right. Yeah. And she literally was like, "I I thought you really were going to get into porn. Like I looked it up. Like I didn't know. Do you were you do you plan on really quitting comedy? And I was like, "Ma'am, don't ever come back to a show. Please don't. Don't if that's your, if you have no idea that that's an obvious joke. Like I get scared when I say that stuff on a podcast and people don't get it. I'm just like, oh my god, are we slipping away from reality that far that yeah, they don't well, know? We are. We got. I mean, comedians like we were talking about in the other podcast. It's like you get say, held to the same standard as a politician. It's like it says in my bio, I'm a comedian. Yeah. Everything that you hear and see, I'm fucking. I'm fucking idiot. around. Yeah, that's because a comedy really is under. It's it's being assaulted. Like, yeah, under attack and like that. I I love the Ricky Gervais thing, and I also love Dave Chappelle's uh, Twain. Yeah, I it was that. wonderful. You know, because when you have the biggest dogs in the genre. Defending the genre, it makes it a lot easier for the little guys who are, you know, like us who are getting like, can't say that, can't say that, can't get this, can't get that, can't do that, can't do that, don't can't do, do that. that, can't do that, don't do that, don't come out of your house with that skin color and that, <laughs> and that gender. Isn't that uh, funny yeah. to think that the previous, the forefathers of comedy that before us were way more fucked up than we ever were? And that's the irony is like now we're the bad guys for some yeah. reason. It's You're weird. like, are you kidding me? Do you ever hear what Don Rickles used to say? Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever pay attention to anything? Like I love when people say that they're a fan of his, and I was like, really? It's the same way I feel about Howard Stern. Like I have nothing but respect for Stern, but it is funny that there's all these like super hardcore liberal feminist activist Hollywood people. That that go there he's the same guy who's like how, how big is his dick you know what I mean he's like the first guy to be like show me your tits you know what I mean yeah, yeah, Gwyneth yeah. Paltrow let me see your tits yeah. it's so funny that like we they everyone holds everything to a different standard so you're right when a big guy in comedy stands up for the the whole of us to be like you guys can't 
you can't pick and choose. You, right. you you have to let this all exist. You can't just go. They can say it because they're more famous. No, fuck that. People no. are. You have to let it all exist. When when Chappelle said that shit, when he said, "I don't care if I know he's racist and I disagree with him, yeah. I might still have a beer with him afterwards." Yeah. It's just that's the world of comedy that exists. I was like, "Thank that's." That's, that's what, what it always has been. That's what it used. That's what that's what that's used what to be, be the norm, and now yeah. it's like a this weird shift. But fuck all that. Fuck all that. I think I think now though, real comedy fans, in my opinion, are solidified as uh, as as the actual uh, consumers of comedy more than ever. Now it, yeah. it's not just a trend. It's not like I love comedy. I think now more than ever, I see people. It's like they're all hardcore comedy fans yep. that are coming out. Yep. They like want to be there bad, yep. which yeah. is good. It eliminates the fucking. People that don't even want to, you know, we just came here. We thought it was, you know, whatever. It's like, and we, and we didn't like the way he talked. It's like, no. well, fucking don't come then. Well, that's what's beautiful about this is like this unfiltered, unedited comedy we can do. It's like we're in these people's uh, ears for like an hour a week. And they're just, we feel like it's almost like we're a part of their family. I'm inside like, your car. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm inside, inside their car, car, right? Listen, I'm inside your car right yeah. now. Yeah. I'm inside your fucking 2013 Hyundai Sonata, and I can hear it. That trunk is rattling right now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you, Mike. I see you driving alone on 185. I know what's going on with you, pal. Listen, don't do it. Put away the gun. Don't do it, Michael. Or, or if you are going to do it, you just save someone's life. Potentially. Yeah, he yeah. just pulls over. He yeah. starts crying. If you are going to do it, I would live stream it. Oh, yeah, live Get stream it. tweets for your family. Do something for your family. Did you see what Antonio Brown did today? What did he do now? You know who that is, don't you? No, of course. Yeah, he fucking, he was kicking his, uh, the cop, got the cops called on him. He was kicking his girlfriend or his oh, really? wife or whatever out of his house. He's losing it too, this guy. I mean, well, going off. Like, he like, was live streaming. He was even Instagram live, and he's like, "That's right, bitch, you bitch ass motherfucker." Calling, dropping a lot of ends, dropping a lot of juicy what, big what ends. Word? What? What word specifically? No nos. Oh, okay. <laughs> Call him no nos. <laughs> yeah, those the black guys love to drop that no. The no nos. Yeah. yeah, no nos. No, for some reason he was he was losing it on the cops and this woman. And it's just like that's another example of when you get too big and you let it go to your head, and then now yeah. he's going to be a guy we see on ESPN in ten years who went broke, yeah. spent all of his money, and did all the fucked up shit well, well, I think he's like truly mentally ill and I wonder if he's suffering from CTE yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, gotta as be as soon as a, a football player does something like that just like get the kid in a CAT scan machine yeah get him in there what get is that was that why you're bothering I you go, I like to go in the front a little bit you want yeah. it in the front this just makes me feel good yeah when I got like something nice between my legs long and hard and black yeah <laughs> is that a typical thing for you I've never. Well, I've, I think we've said this on the on the podcast before that I we I certainly fall in love with men and have sex with women. Um, Do you ever think about a man when you're having sex with a woman? No, I don't ever think about a man when I'm having sex with a woman. But I did come once getting a blowjob, and it was taking me a long time to come. And then when I finally did come, it was uh, I was watching ESPN and LeBron James dunked, and his muscles look great, and I came. Yeah. So I don't know. I can tell you this for sure. I'm a hundred percent. I am a hundred percent sure I'm, I'm not gay. But I'm also 100 percent sure I'm not straight. Ah, yeah. uh, yeah. I talked to Dr. Drew about this. I was asking if every guy, you know, you hear these rumors that every guy had a gay experience when they were young. Did you have a gay experience when you were young? Yeah, a little bit, but it, was, it wasn't a big gay experience. It was a quick lick of each other's penises. Whoa! Yeah, we licked each other's dicks. How old? Uh, probably 25, 26 years old. Whoa! Yeah, I feel like that's a little late. Yeah, I'm joking. Yeah, it was seven, six. No, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you were seven years old? No. Uh, I'm just going to make it younger to make it sound better. I was four. You were four or five? Four or five. And yeah. you and your buddy were hanging out and you, we and you pulled it your, pe- your pee-pees out? Yeah, it's yeah. Brooklyn. You know? Oh, it's Brooklyn. Oh, this yeah. is in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got that part of the This story. makes sense. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So you kissed each other on the no-no? Yeah, we kissed each other on the no-no. And, um, you went like this? Was it a kiss or a tongue? It was a lick. It Whoa. was a real lick. lick. Yeah, it was a lick. I never did. ice cream lick. I, I missed out. I never had a gay experience. Happy lick on an ice cream cone. And what happened after that? You thought, I don't want to do it again? Uh, yeah. I, I, we just kind of did it. It was, you know, it's like, yeah, we were kind of, you know, we used to jerk off together. Like, I think, do all kids do that? I think a lot of guys yeah. jerk off together. Drew was telling me that not all men do that, but I go, I think most guys have circle jerk or jerk off experiences with yeah, other men. Drew done what it? he said? Uh, Drew didn't. Uh, Drew has had no gay experience whatsoever. He was saying that it's not a normalized. It's not a. It's not a thing that um, shouldn't be acceptable or normalized. But it is something that is uh, because of hor- because of hormones. The the intense amount of hormones that are happening when you're going through puberty. It's completely normal to be sexually so overtly frustrated that it's not about gender at that point. You're just looking at tr- how can you get your penis rubbed, touched, jerk, cummed. I think it's just Dr. A, it's Drew, just hormones. I think he has had gay experiences and he blacks them out. You think so? Uh, for sure. I know so. Because I've been in the room with him when the gay shit's been going down. Really? Like, give me something. Give me something. No, nothing. We just I did his show last year. Um, and it was great. And we were talking about vitamins and health things and all that. And then he, he just took his shirt off and I started licking his nipples. You licked his nipples? Yep. Yeah. And what did he say? 
Um, no, he, he asked me to put coconut oil on him because he's keto. Mm -hmm. And then I licked, I licked his, uh, I licked his coconut oil nipples. And then I started, yeah, playing with his balls a little bit. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> and then somebody came in and stuck a broom handle up my ass, and then I blacked out. Let's That's just get a word for our sponsor, a grinder. <laughs> it's a great app. Yeah. Check it out. Uh, they're good for. Like, I would love Grinder to be a sponsor. That would be great. I'm also jealous of that. Like, look, I miss the fucking, I miss the app revolution, but I also. I, I don't think the app revolution is that cool anyway for single people as much as it is for Grinder for gay guys. It's like the coolest thing in the world. Because oh oh yeah. I mean, Tinder is like a whole thing. Yeah. Grinder, no, you just Grindr, get to fucking like, give your address. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, your actual address. I mean, our gay friends, you know, they'll they'll leave the door open in their apartment and the guy will just come in, jerk them off, suck their cock, whatever yeah. it may and be. And leave. And yeah. then leave. There's no like profile pics of, of faces on Grinder. No. Just abs. It's abs. Yeah. I, my, a buddy of mine I ran into having uh, dinner with a friend and we just got to talking about it and I was like, Where'd you, where were you before this? He's like, oh, I just, you know, fuck this dude. And I was like oh really he's like yeah i go have you ever walked in because because he, he's he makes them bend over he wants them bent over when he walks sure. in and i said have you ever just walked in and not liked the ass and left he's like absolutely a multi he's like but that's a total normal thing for to walk in and go no thank you and then leave right because yeah because it, it's got to be a nightmare to like get inside a guy's ass oh my god because I, I keep a clean ass but it's like it's i don't want anyone near it's a nightmare you What's wax it? it do you have 100 percent no. clean ass right now no i'm always i'm always what, a little what, bit shady give yourself a percentage what would it be 68 68 wow yeah where are you at I'm, I'm saying right now, I think I'm hovering around 78, 79% clean. Much better than me, though. Yeah. Do you baby wipe when you're done? I do baby wipe when I'm done, but in LA, does that hurt the toilet system here or whatever? Everything's so fragile. We throw it in the trash, yeah. Oh, you throw it in the trash here, right? Mm -hmm. Have you washed your ass since you got off the plane? Yeah, I did. That's why I, okay, I had a break. Okay, so but I'm still fine. saying, even though I washed my ass, I got off the plane, I still know I'm a little swampy. I had to run, you know, go grab something real fast from the store. So it's kind of like I, re I rebuild the stank within 10 to 15 minutes of getting out. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. a lot of hair. How, yeah. like, is it, are you someone like because I know me if I don't have a 100% clean ass mm -hmm. confidence like if I'm in a meeting or even I'm doing comedy it's not as good I'm at my peak my best when I'm 100% clean clean I'm talking shower I'm talking a swap of wish hazel yep. I'm talking 100% <laughs> clean ass but can yeah. I tell you yeah. it's either 100% clean or I'm super confident when I'm a filth bucket in the middle, I'm not that confident. Not that good in the middle. Interesting. Yeah. But if I but if I if I have meetings all day, my feet stink, they hurt, my back's tired. It's the last one of the day. I got a little bit of a little a little bit of yeah. streak in my underwear. Like I know I I shit and I didn't wipe and it was a little bit left, you know. And yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Then I'm walking that meeting. I'm booking the gig. Because you just yeah, don't 100%. care. I don't, you don't care. care I don't give a fuck. Dude, I've had I've had. For because Giannis says Giannis said he had diarrhea once for two years, which is wild. Yeah, um, I've just so, been, yeah. a couple of years. I've just been, I, until he gave me the probiotics I'm taking now. You ever eat yogurt? Just eat yogurt. I just I, I do eat a lot of yogurt too. I don't know. That's what really it is. good. It's great for you. You yeah. you had diarrhea for two Pretty years. Pretty much, I didn't have a solid shit for like a couple of years. Is that bad? That's bad. Nah, that's that's right. I've, I've had the opposite, by the way. I've had I've had rabbit poops one time for like three months straight. Rabbit. You know the like blah, 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 the yeah, pellets. What, what was going on? And not drinking enough water, not getting enough good food, not sleeping well enough. Right. You know, it's all the, it's all this. It, really, pooping. All it is is you got to drink water, get some good sleep, and and don't eat trash. That's right. all it is. And then you start to put right. yeah because because I had diarrhea for like two and a half weeks. Wow. And it was like getting to the point where I was like, am I ever gonna have a solid shit again? And now like I'm just taking nice S shaped. Beautiful shit. S's is nice. That's that's what they want to see. I'm a C. I'm a, I'm, I'm a C shape. I don't get a, an S is a lot. That's really nice. Doctors that means see, you'd curl. Doctors just want to see form to your shit. They don't want to see pellets. They don't want to see clumps. Yeah. yeah. They want to see a form. A letter. Shit. Yeah. What would your letter be? Well, my letter. My shits are always the same. Here it is. My shits are always like a big log when they're healthy. Yeah. And then there's always just an extra on top, like. Loose poop. Yeah, loose poop. So it's like, <laughs> it's like a Sunday. It's like where it's just like yeah. scoops of ice cream and then whipped cream on top. It's always loose poop on, but that drops on it. Right. It's like when you uh, when you do the when you soft serve. You know the yeah. the machine. The moment ooh, you turn it off, some still comes out yeah, a little bit at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. That's it. You get a little extra soft serve yeah. there. It's like a dog. Like when a dog poops, you know, there's that little scent of drip that they put on there. Yep. I have that with kind of a little loose spray. Stool. Yeah. How comfortable are you with the bathroom stuff with with the opposite sex? Are you comfortable? Can you have the door open or no? Yeah, I fart. I fart in bed. I uh, I do my, too, my, and I feel like that's probably not good, huh? Uh, I, I think my, as long as your wife's okay with it. Nah, the old bag doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like to, it. Every girlfriend I had, I would like always like if I took like a monster like huge S shaped shit, I would like call them in <laughs> to like look at it. And I'd make them look at it. Really? You're, you're a disturbed child. And a lot of yeah. people didn't want to do it, but I just fucking held their face right over the water. You yeah. fucking, like, fucking sliced the garlic. This was before me too. You could do things like that. Yeah, you could. You yeah, get away with it. Now you can't. You get in trouble. Yeah, yeah, you can't fuck up my sauce. I'm yeah. del I used to be delicate about farting in the bed. I won't fart on the couch now because I'm afraid it's it's a nice new couch. I don't want it to sit in the you fabric. Nice place. You got Thanks, a real nice man. Crib. Do you guys want babies? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah you guys want to help? Yeah. yeah, 100%. We need someone to cheer us on a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get tired halfway through. I no, need someone to be like, do it. Yeah. Will you really? 100%. would dude. love that shit. That would be really funny. Like if he's in there, we just cheer. Come on, come on. Come on, man. man. Come on, buddy. Let's do it. You yeah, got it. Stop it. fucking around. This. Yeah, you can fucking do it. But I've been, but we've been edging. We've been edging. So I'm trying to get. What's edging me now? Come on, man. It's when you get close to coming and you stop. You're building up the pressure. You're building up, dude. You build it up. It's Asian shit, dude. The Asians do all that weird shit. But when do you when do you finally come then? You do it a couple times, then you get ready, and then the pop is way stronger. Yeah. So okay, so it's all in the same sex thing, like. Like yeah, it's in the same you session. Wait two days. No, no, no. It's no. all in the same. You hour. can no. Sting does that. Sting does Kama Sutra. That's a part of Kama Sutra. Sting, Sting won't come for like a week and then come and lose his mind. He'll build up all this. You know, like like the blue ball. The idea of blue balls, which we don't get anymore because you're too old for your yeah. balls to have that kind of stress. It's like I could get close to coming and stop and then have a normal day. By the right, way, right, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, you yeah, could fuck. Just, I could I could go to work. Yeah. But with us, it's like yeah. During sex, you just you you build up and then. Then you either change position or do something to switch so you're not going to come. So you just wait right before your orgasm. You stop. You do it a couple of times, and then the pop is big. Done that. Guys like Sting do it, though, for like days on end. The guy's a freak, dude. He does stuff where he just massages uh, massages their feet and jerks off until he's close to come, and then he stops. So he's single. He's doing this to... to- I don't even. I don't know. I think he's got a lady. Yeah. But he's known to Kama Sutra shit. That's his thing. I kind of want to read the book now. Yeah. Yeah. I would do it. Because Indians are freaks, dude. They They got a billion of those motherfuckers. Say, look at how many people Indians and Asians. I mean, yeah. Same thing. They They are Asian. Indians are Asians, dude. What? Yep. Yeah, so they're all the enemy to me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, by the way, you can't say the word. So we say in America, we say Indian in reference to Indians, but also. You don't really say Indian anymore for Native Americans, but like I don't think it's anything that someone would be like, "Oh my God!" About, but I said that in Canada. Woo, no. Oh, because they have a native. They they have a like. They, it's yeah. big there. Inuits, yeah, Inuits. Inuits. Yeah. It's called their. Um, the woman said to me, she said my the bartender was like my boyfriend was chalk or whatever, and I said, "What is that?" And she said, "Oh, he's native." I said, "Oh, okay." And then I just in the next random part of the conversation, I said, "You because your boyfriend is Indian, right?" And she was like, "Oh my god!" And she was like the most offended. I was like, "No, I mean, I mean, I mean, native, like Native American." And she's like, "That is, that is so fucking racist." She's I was like, "Dead serious, dead, dead ass." It's, 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 it's big out there like that. Yeah. I didn't mean it that like that. Of course, I, I you know, said, "Come on, lady, give me a break." I'm Come on, I'm I go, dude. I said, "Feather, not dot, lady." You fucking <laughs> trash bag. You fucking trash monkey. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, come it was on. so fun. No, she lost it on me. And for a second, I thought, I, I guess, I, I get it. Maybe that's not the right term. Right but I, yeah, I did. I knocked her the fuck out. I tipped her nothing. Yeah. Good. Are you oh, trying to have kids right now? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Little, little, you know what's so hard? To schedule things are so hard. Me too. I'm going through yeah. it right now. Touring. She's like, let's fuck now. And I'm going, ah. Is she on a calendar? She's like, yeah. It's like when she feels like she's, you know, it'll be in like the middle of the worst you know, yeah, having a bad moment. day. You got yeah. a bad or phone like, call. Your ass is sixty percent clean. Yeah. She's like, you lost the job. It's all going downhill. It's Why like, don't you want to fuck me? Yeah, let's do it right now. And it's like, it doesn't work that way. Nope, nope. Yeah. I had my kid was just like... You had a kid on accident, yeah. though. But that's like, I feel like sometimes that's the way it's just going to happen. I think Puerto Rican uh, wombs, it, it, I think the egg just comes out and grabs the sperm and pulls it, it in. It just pulls it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was instant. I mean, she got pregnant. Did like, you know the moment that you came that you might be in trouble? She did. She yeah. knew it. She, she knew. She was like, I swear I feel pregnant. Like an hour later. An like, hour, because she had a kid already, so she was like, "It's the same feeling." So we went and got a plan B, and it didn't just. How many kids does she have so now? The, the ba- so. You had a plan B and the babies. You watched her take it. <coughs> I or? watched her take it. Yeah, at the CVS. She took a plan B. Still she got pregnant. B, still Puerto got pregnant. Ricans, wow, bro. They, yeah. you can't, fucking they can't Islanders. They got, got it, I'm man. One percent guy. She took a plan B and still she didn't take it. No, she took it. She took it right in front of me. She was like joking around. I was like, I, I swallowed it. Yo, but when you when right now hmm. when you're trying when you're doing it you're trying. Are you thinking like you want to know it's a good one that makes the kid? Yeah. Like there's a few where I'm not really knocking it out. And I'm like, I hope this wasn't the one. Oh, yeah. There's sometimes always, sometimes yeah. when I nut uh, and I think if that was the one, I'll be bummed. Yeah. Because I'll think right. like the one I just did wasn't that athletic. Yeah. Yeah. You want right, to do right, something. Right. Right. He'll come out. Nice performance to make a kid. I want him yeah. to be. I want Is him to have some skill. that are better like you, you on top or. I always tell her blowjobs work the best. I say, you keep blowing me and let me come down I'll that throat. Get you pregnant right away. You want to tell you want to you want to hear a, <laughs> you want to hear a real a real a real story, babe? Yeah. So so my kids when my kids' mom uh, my daughter was born three days uh, late. So on she was born on May nineteenth. On May sixteenth, we went into the doctor's office and it was a doula and a doula. They're Has- like Hasidic Orthodox Jewish. Like some are actual Hasidic and some are Orthodox Jews. Like very extremely religious people. That's who gave. That's who they're like midwives. So it's May 16th. She's like, come back tomorrow. So we go back. Now it's May 18th. 
and you have to keep coming back after you miss your due date. And she goes, you know, asking all these things, have you tried this, have you tried that? And then the doula says, she goes, have you swallowed any of his sperm yet? And then she was like, what? And then she was like, there's properties in sperm when swallowed and digested will cause dilation and will cause Shut the cervix up. to begin to dilate and will start to induce labor. She's like, it's an old wives tale. Trust me, it works. And then my kid's mom was like, did you fucking pay her to say that? <laughs> she was like, so let me get this straight. Cause she was just in a mode where like, she wants the baby to come out. She was like, so you want me to blow him and swallow it? And the doula was like, yes, that's what I'm saying. So then we go back, and then I'm just like, you know, not mentioning it. Did but I'm you like, high five the Adul on the way out? <laughs> yeah. Nice one. Throw a like, couple bucks. I was like, I don't know why people don't like your people. Yeah. You guys are good people. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, so. Germans can't help it. Yeah. Can't. yeah. yeah. You're one of the good Jews. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll never forget. We're sitting there on the couch, and it's like an hour or two went by. Like, she's just like, you know, nobody's really talking. I'm just like, oh. You're you know, dancing like, around it baby. a little bit. Yeah. I'm just like, wow, fucking great. You're like, these then, jeans got small. I'm going to take these pants off this is yeah. uncomfortable so she goes into the bathroom puts her comes out her hair's in a ponytail and she comes out she goes to the bedroom gets a pillow and puts it down in front of me and i'm like what what are you doing and then she gets on and she goes fucking pull it out and i was like no like are you, you seriously believe that she's like chris pull out your dick yes and then she just gets down and, and then just, you got hard and then mm -hmm. she starts yeah. sucking it yeah. and then she starts fucking sucking it well no i was really hard because like when you get like so like when you're that pregnant, like you don't care about maintenance. She had her mustache and her beard back. So I was like, I'm going to come. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, she, so she starts, so she starts sucking it. And it's just like, she's like, fucking come in my mouth. Hot. I need you to come in my mouth. And then I just let one fucking rip. Hand to God. 45 minutes later, her water broke. Wow. Shut up! As ancient Je Jewish had wisdom, the baby, the baby was ancient born at Jewish wisdom. Yeah, I remember we the baby was born at ten o four a.m. and my dad, like my kid's mom, is legit like crowning, like pushing the baby out. And my dad walks in. My mother was already in there. My dad walks in with the New York Post, and he's like, "We having a baby?" <laughs> and, uh, and then my my kid's mom was like, "What is he doing here?" And I'm like, "Dad, like you can't be in here." He's like, well, "He's like, why?" I'm like, "I'm like because he's like it's my granddaughter." And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm it, just you got to go." And then like as he's leaving, he's like, "By the way, Sabathia got fucking rocked last night. Thank you, got to trade him." <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay." And your daughter turned to crawl back in. Like, yeah. I don't want to be. I don't want to be born in this no, family. Fuck no, that. my daughter came out and was like, "Yes, my dad's white." <laughs> <laughs> There's hope. Yeah, yeah. You should have named her Hope. How how big was she? How many pounds? She was um. You had a six, big kid. Six pounds, 11 ounces. Not that big. What were you? Um, what was I? I think I, I don't know. What were it's you, weird. Jan? Like, you, you, don't know, know, you know? I don't know. But I got 7 11. You were 7 11? I would know. I was 7 11. That's what my mom always said. 7 11. My sister was like 9 1. Wow. You fucking fat Come baby. Out, fucking big tits. She's big now, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. She's on that My 600 pound life You can see her Every Tuesday on TLC <laughs> uh, TLC She's a heavy one How many How many siblings do you have? Just her yeah. She, But she's skinny As a fucking rail It's hilarious She's a, right. she's so tiny She was a big baby And then tiny Now she's so baby. skinny man. Where does she live? Does she live in Chicago? Shite down Shite, you like she, her? She's in Chicago husband? Not a husband No got a boyfriend Not a husband I She's young fucking half a fag or She's young Yeah, hey, Three dollars Three, three dollar bill Three yeah. dollar bill <laughs> What were you gonna say? What did you got something? You got a story? I, I I can't remember what I was gonna say. I no, don't, I, I Yanni's don't got early onset also. Yeah, it's you do early onset. Yeah, I uh, some Yanni sundowns is what we call sundowns. It. Like uh, all people with Alzheimer's, when it gets dark out, we're doing the podcast at dark. That's the problem. This is when it fucks up your I head. Sundowning, yeah. I feel very vulnerable podcasting without shoes on. That's my favorite and thing. I, I want people to my feet. Well, because yeah, it you, you, it make it comfortable with no shoes. On. I know he does it with no shoes. On. That's right, baby. Yeah, but from but you know why. Yeah. You know why? Because shoes, shoes in somebody's home uh, means that you're not comfortable there. Really? Yeah. Interesting. That makes yeah. sense. It means you're not comfortable. That's why. That's why. Uh, it's a cleaner way to do it. People should do that. Well, I think around the world, a lot of a lot of cultures do it because they think that you're supposed to feel like you're at you my you're at home. Right? At home. Yeah. I mean, you wear your shoes on means you, you're going to leave at any moment. Like in a hotel, I never take my shoes off. In here. We pour whiskey, whiskey. You got a bunch of clutter in your life, you got to get rid of it, okay? You can't do that. That's not how the whiskey ginge lives his life. I like to clean house all the time. If you're looking to sell stuff online, there's no easier way than doing it through Mercari. Mercari is actually incredible. Don't go on eBay, dude. It's a scam. eBay's a scam. It's filled with a bunch of corporations and people selling through businesses, and it's not user-friendly. It's not for the solo dude. It's not for peeps like you and me, dude. Mercari is a great way to sell your stuff, man. Whether it's junk, whether it's amazing, doesn't really matter. One man's junk is another man's junk and or treasure. It doesn't matter. Some people like junk, dude. Some people like junk. You ever seen a junkyard? You ever seen a junkyard? Okay. 
Do yourself a favor and go to Mercari. Download that app. It is so incredible. Uh, there's over a half a million reviews on the internet. A four-point star rating in the App Store. So uh, a pretty good to me. I mean, my Uber rating is probably 3.6 right now. My Lyft is even lower because I, I just... I get wild in a lift for some reason. I get lifted and left. Easy bad joke, but let's get back to the real topic at hand. Mercari does sell everything and anything that you can think of, whether you're selling or buying. It's a very good app. It's easy to use, it's super smooth, it's super clean, it's very user-friendly. All you have to do is take a picture of something that you wanna get rid of. Like I got rid of a video game system because I don't play those because I'm busy. Uh, put it up on the intro web, on Mercari, on the app. Throw it out to the world. Uh, let people, uh, let people know you got stuff to sell. Uh, do yourself a favor. If you want to clean house, start a new year with some new freshness in your life, clean out your house, go, uh, download the Mercari app right now. Start it up, start new, feel good about yourself. Mercari, M-E-R-C-A-R-I. Back to the episode. Ginger. I like gingers. Yeah, yeah. We're alive during the best. This is the best. This is the best. I just had a, I just had a vision of his wife in the other room, just like having a glass of wine on the phone with one of her girlfriends. And her girlfriend's going like, "So, uh, where is he?" And she's like, "He's at work." And is the other room just here? We're talking about fucking shit. <laughs> Shitting. <on the> chest. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you gotta swallow or come. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're at work. But I'm gonna use that. I'm using yeah, that. No, do it, do it, do it tonight. And this is a good episode. I'll tell you what. This isn't Nate Bargatze energy. <laughs> 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 I drink your milkshake. Yeah. You guys, you guys are raising the fucking... You, raise, you do... Ladder 14 always raises the energy of this Ladder fucking... I knew right, when you guys were going to come into town. I was so yeah, excited. Yeah, right, yeah. You guys you guys came into LA. Town, right? yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, hey, right, hey, right, hey, right, hey. Right. Don't call this place a town. No, it's a city. I mean, it's a right, city. Yeah. Liberal, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes. tomatoes yeah. This kid's fucking hair's on fire. Yeah, kid's fucking hair's on fire. I tell you, we came in here. City's fucking a little gay. You guys were in town for how long, fellas? a couple days. We're doing a little firefighter convention. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. We saw fucking places. It's crawling with Mexicans. It's crawling with Mexicans. Yeah, yes. And then we saw, and then we saw. Um, I didn't know. I, Bobby Lee's got a special on Netflix where he's pregnant. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. no, 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 guys. That's it's Ali Wong. Girl. Oh that, yeah. Yeah, it's oh, Ali that's, Wong. That that's not Bobby guy? Lee. I no. It's yeah. Bobby Lee. Ali Wong's Bobby the same Lee, guy. Bobby Lee's a guy. That's Ali's a woman. Oh, yeah. Shit. No, oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I saw him over there at the comedy store. Yeah, yeah we couldn't tell. Guy. Yeah, we didn't know he was pregnant or he was fat. We had no idea. Are you guys big comedy fans? Yeah. You know, we love Shane Gillis. That's our favorite. Oh, you like Shane? We like Shane Gillis a lot. Anthony from Opie and Anthony. Yeah, like, oh, you yeah, like them? And I like some of Michael Richards' old work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those are good. Those are good. Those are good people to go, like. Yeah, go. You, have that. you ever seen stuff like uh, uh, Hannah Gadsby, Nanette? You watch that special? What the no, that? what yeah. the fuck is that? Real powerful, real popular special. You guys would love it. It's right What's, up your alley. Yeah. What is she, who do they vote for? She, yeah. Who does she vote for? Who do you yeah. think she voted She's for? very, very left, very liberal. So is that something you'd yeah. align oh, with maybe yeah, politically? Yeah. Yeah. Look, we're not, I'm just going to tune. I'm going to skip that over. I'm <laughs> gonna, look, I only got yeah. one channel. It's Fox News. That's what I pay. I okay. Pay. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's like, you know, sometimes when my daughter can't get to sleep, Colleen, I got a daughter. My wife's Colleen Senior. My daughter's Colleen Junior. When my daughter, Colleen Junior, can't go to sleep, I put on some of that fucking Hannah Gatsby yeah. and that shit. My kids oh. go to bed. She goes to yeah. sleep. Go to sleep. Yankees, Jets. Tucker Carlson. That's oh, what my kids wow. One, two, three. One, That's two, three, it? Right That's so would Dave Chappelle be somebody, or is, is that not your yeah, kind of... Dave Chappelle's a funny kid. Dave Chappelle's a funny kid. He's a good kid? He's a good fucking kid. That you guys kid. do know... Have you ever seen him, or have you only heard his no, stuff? No, no. You've I, seen I him? I used to do the Chappelle show. No, I like that one sketch. Uh, what was that one sketch... Uh, the name of the family. Oh, the skit. Oh, yeah, that yeah. skit. What was yeah, it? That was a good skit. What, what, yeah. what was it? it was I think it was Dave... called the No Nos. No, the No No Family. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. yeah, that was a good no, sketch. No, no, I like Dave Chappelle. I like Dave Chappelle. I think he's one of the funniest guys in America. You know, the only thing it's like, you know, you got to just be careful because he's Muslim. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. Oh, a lot of like people that. don't fucking know that. A he's Muslim. People, yeah, he's a good fucking kid. No, he's a good guy, yeah. but, you know, it's but like, he's like yeah. next thing you know, this guy's doing jokes yelling, Allah Akbar can't have Yeah, I think you guys know a lot of people that do have secrets like that. Who else has religious secrets that might be Muslim that we don't know about? Barack Obama. Yeah. Oh, we know about yeah, that. That one's yeah, obvious. Yeah, yeah no, that one like, we know. You know. It's one of those things like I like, you know, Barack Obama's a president, so I respect that. But you're you right. think that guy was born in this country. I mean, you're fucking. You're out of your head, right? You, never got, you didn't get a fucking education. Everybody knows. He wasn't born in this country. He was born in Hawaii. Everybody yeah, knows that. Fucking Everybody knows yeah, that shit. Hawaii. That's right. Yeah. He's a Hawaiian Muslim. That. Yep. A Hawaiian know, Muslim. But Trump's going to win another fucking Fucking Hillary Clinton, you know, fucking, you got to watch what you say because that woman, she'll kill you. Right. Yeah. And I will tell you what, though, on the left side, you know, I've been watching some of the debates, you know, with, you know, the, the, the kid Andrew Yin Yang is good. That that kid's oh, you like the, oh, you like him? Yeah, good. Yeah, what I, do you I, like I, about him? Spoke English. I thought that was Ali Wong. <laughs> oh, yeah, that could yeah. be Ali Wong, too. Yeah, yeah Andrew Yin Yang, he was made in China, so that yeah. means he's American. Yeah, he's oh. the most American candidate. Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. So you yeah, guys no. like those guys. That's your. Is that your front runner? 
Uh, no, my front run is Donald Trump. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. no, if he doesn't win, who else? I, look, Donald I, Trump Jr. If Donald Trump Jr. don't win, I'm voting for Donald Trump Jr. That makes yeah, sense. That's what we do. I'm looking at more just like his Harlem Globetrotters. Mm-hmm. So it's like Donald Trump is a Harlem Globetrotters, and whoever the fucking Democrats thought he was like the generals. They didn't uh, fucking lose. They're going to lose. Yeah. The show is fucking the Harlem Globetrotters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll be honest with you right now, you know, because obviously we're on an audio podcast and also we're on a fucking video. Vi- no, no, people see this at home. We got visual fucking video and audio podcast. We got visual video and it's a fucking beautiful home. and beautiful studio. Thank you. I can yeah. tell everything's nice up to date. I do move a little slower uh, if I saw, uh, and if I see an I'm with her pin yeah. in your house, I will let uh, a few more items burn. But if I see Trump 2020, I'm running up that. Those fucking stuff. It's my own you family. You like that? Like it's my own family. It's okay. Just so you know. Really, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, but we did take it off. We will put you out of a fire, but it's a little quicker. If you vote, if you vote to the right, you'll get more, you'll get the premium host. Yeah, listen, like it, we're gonna let this whole fucking city burn to the ground. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh-huh. it's just a little bit like you know, <laughs> you know, and it's like, and it's like, and it's like, look, I'm out here in Los Angeles. It's the first time I've ever even come, you know, and the furthest west I ever been was New Jersey. Yeah. So now that I'm out here in Los Angeles, and I see what's going on with the weather. Mm-hmm. I'm fully convinced now that 100 percent the Chinese did make up global warming. That, that, I, mean, I know that for a fact. You think they Donald created Trump's it? Been right. Yeah. Right. 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 We do. Time. I feel yeah. like we know that, and we know that, but I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah, we didn't know that you guys were aware of that. So. You, you think the Chinese made it to kill us all? Of course. I think they made it. Do they have another place to go when they're off this planet, you think? Uh, I don't know where the fuck those yeah, guys go. Yeah, they're going to China. Yeah, they go, yeah, they're but, going to fucking China. I know, but if global warming takes over the country, it kills the whole... It, I mean, it they kills the whole Earth. China. kills the Earth. Yeah, China. Where do they go? Oh, China's going to last? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. China's, 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 not, China's not a fucking planet. I don't live on a fucking planet. Uh, I don't live on a fucking planet. planet with China. I live in a fucking... I live in a, I live in, a, in a Western American New York City fucking world. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't right. know about yeah. fucking China. That's another Would you guys ever go to a Chinese planet? No, I don't Never. Chinese food. No, 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 it's not no disrespect to them, but it's like, you know, it's, I'm not trying to fucking get near, you know, they're just weird. I mean, you got a ration in your arm, it's like, the first thing I said was well, you mm-hmm. need the Chinese. That's yeah. from the Chinese. Yeah, you got to Let me ask you this, because we are in Southern California, we're close to Mexico, is the, is the wall, does it come up here? Does yeah. you get, do, you get to, lo- do you get to go down and view it and take pictures and selfies with it? We can go every Sunday, uh, the old bag and I go down there to put another brick in. We yeah, put okay, one go, brick go, every go, Sunday. Go, go, yeah. Go. I, I treat it like brick the by brick. studio, the whaling wall. I, I would go down there and I'd take a wish and I put it right in I put it right in I put it right in What would the wish be if you put it in the wall? Can we keep keep this? Thing going, keep it up, mm-hmm. and hope it's mighty for a thousand years. Would you guys build, help build the wall? Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. It'd be yeah. fucking honor. Yeah, I know. It'd be fucking honor. It'd be fucking honor. And I'll tell you what, yeah, I, I, I yeah, I, it's a fucking honor. And I'd like to go down that, yeah, and I fucking, I fucking like to fucking cramp down, you know, kid like Arshvir and make him a brick and put him right in the wall. Yeah, that's what. Oh, like right, right, right. Arshvir, yeah. Jewish guy. Arshvir, yes, yeah, yeah. Jewish guy's a good kid. He's a funny fucking guy. He's a funny guy. Funny kid, so you guys yeah. do like Jewish people? We do like yeah, Jewish. I have no problem with Jewish. You know, I support Israel. You do. Whatever. I support Israel. If that makes Trump sense. Israel, we support yeah, I support Israel. Israel. It's all. Israel. So if Trump supported Palestine, yeah, you would be. Jews, you just gotta fucking. You got. You gotta know. You know they got right. different things. What they did to Jesus, that was a thing that happened. Yeah. Right. It was a thing that fucking happened. You believe that that happened? I know it happened. I know it happened. Oh, you do? Yeah. No, I'm yeah. gonna kill Jesus. So it's, you know, it's like one thing. Like I can have a Jewish. I, I can be friends with a guy. Right. But deep down, I know he knows what happened. I know what happened. And, and, and at the end of the day, I can only be so close with him. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Is and Aaron? What's the longest character piece we've ever done? Andrew. 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 Answer me this, Andrew. If 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 fucking Jesus, okay, mm-hmm. a lot of people out there is trying to say Jesus not a fucking talent kid from New York City, okay. A lot of people try to debate that they say he's not a talent kid, he's not from New York City. Right. Say, okay, tell me this: Why do the Yankees have so many championships? Why? Why they have? Right. Why do the Yankees have so many championships? And why is there the whole fucking Atlantic Ocean between us and the fucking Sands of D's that you live in the Middle East? You can't you fucking can't. answer that. It's because Jesus is a talent kid that loves the Yankees, and yeah. he put the Atlantic Ocean in between us and the fucking Muslims. Yeah, to protect. So it's just what it yeah. is. Well, yeah. this makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't think about it that way, but when you think about it that way, that's what happened. That's you what, can yeah. ask me and ask me anything. You can ask me any. You can <laughs> ask me anything any you want. Question. I fucking know the answer because I watch my fucking news every night. Shout out Tucker Carlson. Yeah. Tucker's your guy. He's my Tucker's fucking my guy. guy. Yeah. Judge Janine, I love those fucking guys. Yeah, Judge Janine, can fu- yeah, she'll get fucked up. Yeah, she's a hot She'll get ass. ripped up? She'll yeah. get ripped up, yeah. No, if now, Colin, are you guys married men, both of you? I yeah. got a wife, Colleen Senior, my daughter's Colleen Junior. Right, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the girls. I just call them the girls. Oh, you call them the girls? Yeah, I got a wife, daughter, dog, all girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's got a when, when, yeah. uh, I got, you gotta have a guma. I'm, I'm an Irish kid. My Sean Terry Patty Mulroney will out of 14, but you know, we go, we grew up in New York City, you got a little Italian. Well, it's because you know. his wife's Italian. If your wife's Italian, you, you can get, have a guma. Then, then you get to her be, culture. I'm right. respecting her culture. Got it. She's Italian, so I'm having a guma. Even her father understands that I have a guma. <laughs> he respects, he respects. How the fuck is her father supposed
When you guys get canceled, yeah. th- this will be the clip that it's they play. Be this. Yeah, yeah. This I, be think, this. I think we dropped a couple of Fs. What else do we do here? <laughs> yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. But it's just a character piece. These are just characters. That's my friend. His name's Patty Mulroney. He's never been to the city of Manhattan. We're from New York City. My name's Sean Terry. We're out of borough firefighters. We brought our passport to the Brooklyn Bridge. So yeah, it's not our fault. Around. It's not our fault. We only got we only got basic cable, just saw Fox News. I don't know what HBO is. Yeah, we're just kidding around. Yeah. yeah. Where do those kids come from? Um, those were guys that we grew when up with. When did that start, though? When did we start doing Sean that? Terry, Patrick Mulroney? I don't know. Oh, I remember. We, so we, fun. We used to start to do every podcast. We would start down, count down the, how many days been since 9 11. Yeah, that's. It was, well, I know you guys have been doing it, but where did it, how, what was the birth? I of it? remember, I actually remember we were, doing a, we were doing a Patreon episode in your house with the phone. And I just said ladder 14. I, we just said, because we always say wild shit. He's right. Especially him, he says wild stuff. Yeah, he says it, yeah. I just said ladder 14, and then I did the voice, it and just, then we just started doing it. It just stuck. And I, I just, yeah, we just came up with the names, Patty Mulroney and Sean Terry, because they're all Irish. Yeah, all Irish but you Irish. love characters. Yeah, I do love characters. You don't, you're not a bit, this is the first time I've seen you really get into characters. When you do this, it, it's like... Uh, it's a different thing. It's a, but, it's a, but it's great, because you never were a character That's guy. That's why he's born for comedy, because like in, act, like in acting, he would just be... That you can't if you if you could do Shakespeare, he always has that like fucking sewer Queens accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like, Yo, to be or not to be. <laughs> yeah. To be or not to be. That's the eternal question you can ask me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's fucking New York, man. I mean, he's New York to the bone. We, you can, you can't get away. You couldn't get away with much. No, I character can't. wise, like that. That's really funny. Yeah, because I can't do it. It's like. Because my family is so New York. I mean, my I mean, real New York City. And your choices are very New York. Like you fucking. Oh yeah, I got, I got yeah, but yeah, tat- look, he's got my New neighborhood York, tattooed on my arm. He's got his name. You know, a kid's got some class. Yeah. When he tattoos his neighborhood <laughs> and the date that he was established on his arm, 1984, yeah. and then I got. Just let him know. Good chance he's and, gonna have a baby's mama. And then I got rosary beads on my arm, and yeah. I got a cross on my back. I'm fighting for the Crusades for the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're going to have to edit some stuff out of this. No way. No, we're Everything do it. leaves on we're this thing. Do it. We're yeah. just joking. Those were characters. Everybody knows. We're yeah. Everyone that listen, I will say this. Almost every single person that's a fan of the show knows that so much of this shit is yeah, us going joking. extreme and fucking yeah. around. Yeah, we're yeah. Just it's fine. hard. It'd be hard to think that it's not. Yeah. Because there are shows. I got to tell you, like sometimes I, if, like you do Rogan, sometimes I do Joe's show. And the fans take everything so literal sometimes. Because he's so very serious. You know, like right. he's, he's delving out real information. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm running a fucking bit. <laughs> And no, even he's kidding. just like, don't do the bit anymore. Right. Cut the fuck. He can feel it coming out of him yeah, where he's yeah. like, stop doing the fucking yeah, bit. He, yeah. he does earnest interviews. Oh, sometimes. man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he still has fun, but it's just, it's a different vibe. Right. What, what was your first character that you ever did? The first one I ever did uh, being a comedian was uh, this guy, Why Sean? Why Sean? What's up? I, Donnell Rollins was in it. We ended up shooting it, but I used to do it live with my old sketch group. But it was Why Sean was like this white kid. And this is way back. 2005? Early, like, earlier than that. When I did him live, it was like 2002. Wow. wow. So, uh, right after 9 11. Yeah, right after 9 11. God bless. God bless. God bless. Yeah. God yeah. bless. So, uh, he's a white kid who grew up in an all black neighborhood. And it was based on, I used to have a pool route when I was in, in college. Me and my buddy would go clean pools. We were pool operators. We'd go to like little neighborhoods in Maryland. I went to school mm-hmm. in DC and Virginia. And we went to this one area. It was an all black, like, Area. This was the funny. I mean, it was all black, all black pool in like one of those communities. Mm-hmm. So we're working with the pool, and these kids come over, and it's all these young black kids, and they're like, "Yo, man, we we'll smoke y'all." You know, he's like, "We we'll smoke y'all in basketball, man. We we'll smoke y'all." And then this <laughs> white kid come over, and he's like, "Yeah, man, we we'll fucking smoke y'all." And I was like, "Who's this fucking kid?" He goes, "My name is White Sean." And I said, "What?" He said, "Why Sean?" And he was saying it fast. He was saying White Sean. Yeah, yeah. It sounded like a black nigga. So he was saying Why Sean. <laughs> And they're like, yeah, man, that's why Sean. All the black kids loved him, and so it was based on him. Just, just the name was so funny. Why he, Sean? Why Sean? Can you say it real fast? Sound like why Sean? Yeah, it means why Sean. <laughs> yeah. So that was the first one. But the the biggest character, because I I'm like dead inside, right? Like mm-hmm. I just can't laugh. I don't know what it's it's German. It's German. I'm German. I'm yeah. So they don't laugh like, at my, my, no, no, you can't. You know, but he does his character Maurice. It's the only thing that's that makes it. He's a Puerto Rican transgender, Puerto Rican from the Lower East Side. And um, a Manhattan, and it's just one of the things I can't handle how yeah, funny yeah. it is. I watch it all the time, and I just laugh because it's my family, it's my life. Yeah, where's she? Where's she from? She from the lo- she from actually the Lower East Side of New York City. Oh, really? So she's transgender. That means I'm third sexy. Oh, so well, that's you- it. That's I'm trying. I'm trying to better my life. I'm trying to better myself. When yeah. did you go to? So when, I, when did you switch? When did I you switch? When I was little, but I was a high school basketball player. I was like all city. Oh wow! So like, yeah, yeah, I was like yeah, I played in five stars and all that shit down the river. Like he did, but he ended up playing Division Three. That's not. 
nice. Like he was cute. Like you're cute and you're cute. Thank but I'll you. be more into you because you got a house here. Right. Plus a wife, that's a little competition. Right. Said I like that. Yeah. You I'm do? To move on up. Yeah. Where's your do, where's your family now? My family's still in the Lower East Side. I'm still living with my mother, my grandmother, and my sister, and, 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 and my other grandmother. And you, yeah. And you got a cousin too. That you I got a cousin too that's living there. It's a full house in there. And I'm trying to get out of here. Oh, I'm you. I'm trying to go to Westchester where there's grass and I can get a little minivan and some greenery and I can fall driving the fuel efficient minivan and go to Whole Foods. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. What do you do for a living? That's it. I'm, I, I'm a sex worker. Oh. oh. Woman, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm right now. I used to be on back pages. That's where I used to be. Oh. And then they took down back pages. Now I'm a little more into independent. I got my own website. Where are you? Because what's I'm your website? I'm a little bit of a celebrity through YouTube. Oh, really? I've been doing those YouTube videos for a little while. People seen that I was looking for someone to put me to watch Chester. And so now I got my own website. So I'll be sucking little dick. I'll be doing little. I just also I do public appearances. Oh, oh, you that's do? That's great. So yeah. if someone wants to get a hold of you, what's your website? So you go to marisa.sit.com. That's it. Marisa, that's it. Com. Marisa that's it. Com. You D-A-S. just go to there. Oh, yeah. that's it. Or dot org or however you want to spell it. Just go to that shit and I'm there. I got a conglomerate and all that shit. Yeah. I don't know if this is rude, but what like what are the pricing levels for, the, for depends, sex work? Like like I'm flexible, but seriously, like it's a you need to do about 250 rolls if you want to get a blowjob. Okay. And then we're going up. If you want to spend the night with me, then we're talking about the thousands. That's it. Thousands. And also, I do pictures and, and, and say, I'm a little bit of a celebrity. That's it in New York City. I'm a, everybody knows my shit there. Really? Miami, New York City, a little bit of Los Angeles, a little bit of San Francisco. You can put me to any place there. They know my shit. Wow, so you're famous. I'm famous in those places. How did you get famous? From doing these videos on YouTube and shit. The same way that Logan Paul blew up. That's me. Oh, so you're like the Logan Paul. I was the Logan Paul trying to get that dick and go to Westchester. That's it. That makes perfect sense. I'm trying to get a house like this. You got like a nice house with a little yard and all that with a little dog and that's it. You be drinking that nice wine. You probably got some nice wine in there, right? Uh, Yeah, I do. You do. You got. That's why I'm trying to get some cupcake wine. That's what I like. Oh, you call it cupcake wine. Did you fuck JJ Reddick? is some. That's the perfect. Like, he's hot to me because he play. He got the Holy Trinity of what I like dick, ball, and money. That's my holy trinity right there. That's the holy trinity right there. Because I used to play basketball. I can't help it. I love basketball. I yeah. can't help that shit. I love basketball. That's how are you in a relationship right who's now? Who's always good at basketball? Yeah, yeah. You no, are. right now I'm still single trying to get to Westchester. That's what I'm trying to get. Right, you want to stay single. you're from Chicago, so you don't know. Westchester's like, that's like making it to Candyland. That's, okay. That's, that's, that's like Candyland. That's like heaven to you. That's like heaven up there. Right. They got like deer. I want to see a deer. I want to maybe hit a deer. They have a deer out there? They got deers everywhere walking around like dogs and shit in backyards and shit like that. That's what I'm trying to get to. Wow. Okay. That's it. I'm so, not trying to be in the projects in Alphabet City anymore. Do you, you think, need to put me to out there. Do you think that like doing <laughs> sex work is going to get you out there? That, it's a little bit, you know? That's yeah. That's a little bit. That's, that's a starting line for you. That's a starting line right there. And then I'm starting my business. I got like also... I'm putting myself to a lot of. Ca- I'm making candles. I'm also making clothing and things like that. I got a you whole make line. candles and clothes. That's it. I got. A, I got a, a perfume that's called Rigorous, and I will be selling that too. So I got. I'm putting up the website, making the video to, wow. to promote it, and then sell it on these. You know, this the internet. You could be doing a lot of shit like you're doing this radio show right here on the internet. So I be selling my products on the internet too. Damn. I'm selling chancletas too. You are. That's right. I'm selling chancletas. You really are. I am. That's it. You're I, leveling. I mean, you, you're leveled up. Man. I'm leveled up. I go to the mall and I take. I, I steal a bunch of them shits in the buckets from those chinas they be selling them and then I be stealing them shit and then I got different colors sometimes I mix them up one red one pink like Punky Brewster I don't care oh right yeah I mix them shits up and then people like to buy it cause you know I signed them shits mm-hmm. I, gave, I gave his mother-in-law a signed ashtray she liked that she shit she liked it she yeah. really did like she it she did like it huh? she loved it I they're big a, fans of her can no, I ask you a rude that. question it might be it might be no, overstepping my boundaries I'm open up from New York City Okay, but that's do you, how we do it. when you went through surgery, did you go all the way, or do you still have your? I still got my shit. You still have your dick I like and balls it like that. Yeah, pay me like your French girls, Jack. Right. Just leave the dick. That's it. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. That's I'm third sexist. There's three. You know what I'm saying? That's my gender. Right. I was. You know, Jesus makes mistakes. He meant I was born a boy, but then I, deep down I'm really a girl. And that's it. So I'm so, third sexist. So will you? Will you sleep with men and women? I'm no. Are you, I don't. I don't fuck with that calamari. You crazy? I don't know. No, I, I didn't know what you like. What the fuck is that shit? I'm not trying to do see your little halo. That's not what I'm into. <laughs> I like that dick. I need to see some dick. That's it. Baseball bat, sausages, all that shit. You from Chicago? That's what I like. Sausages. Show me that Polish sausage. Do you that's care about? Do you care about race? Who's your favorite race? I don't to care. I care about money. That's right. the color I'm into. Right. Green. That's it. The American dream. Green. And that's it. <laughs> see, the, see the psychosis that you deal with? You? He got it. Real me. It's kind of funny, but it's like you know, Giannis. But a part of it deep down is you. No, it's so say that it is. Character. That's the problem. Because you ask yeah. me when you start doing characters, like he's this is a character. Yeah, Giannis pops is a character. I'm what crazy. you just heard is real. If you notice. He's going because he normally has a wig on and he's flicking the wig, but he doesn't. Yeah, you the wig do the on. wig. I could see you yeah. doing with the hair. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, it's one, but it, yeah. it's just what makes me laugh harder because when he says, like, little, the pay the detail, he said, he doesn't say, you know, I'm going to Westchester. He said, he puts me to Westchester. Put me to Westchester. He puts me out there. They put me out there. 
Puerto, he knows about Puerto Ricans from yeah. Chicago. Yeah, from man. Chicago. So, so that, that's Puerto all Ricans it is. They love that character. They love They're her. fucking hot. They love, yeah, that shit is fucking, hot. that's so wonderful, man. Yeah, but you've yeah. carved it out so much because it's so specific. It is specific. Did you grow up with someone that you knew that you yeah. based it on? Well, it's based on- My like, baby mama? We, we, growing up in New York. Part of you. Chicago, it's like I dated so many Puerto Rican girls. Like one of the first girls I lo- was in love with was Puerto Rican from Starrick City. In New York, and it's like, yeah, they're just the Puerto Ricans just abound. It's part of the culture. Like New York, what would you say? Italian, Jewish, Black, Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican is like that's New York. Yeah, and Chicago is Black, White, Puerto Rican. Right. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there is there, there is other things, but that's really and Puerto Rican. You got it's a big Puerto Ricans, but not a lot. A lot. Polish actually, there's a lot of yeah. Polish too, but I put them with whites. Right. Yeah. But is there like a Puerto Rican neighborhood in Chicago? Yes, Fuck is. yeah! Not only that, dude, the Puerto Rican Day Parade in Chicago is yeah. fucking insane. Right. It's insane, and I mean like the city shuts down. Right. It's absurd how how big and chaotic it is. Right. Puerto Ricans and fucking. I mean, I think there's more Polish than anything else. There's more Pol- There's more Polish people in Chicago yeah. than in Warsaw, Poland. But, really? but yeah, it's insane. And it took it over years ago. Yeah, man, the Polish population no, there is love, weird. Because it's part of our, we love the fiestas. It's, yeah. You know, it's part of our yeah. culture. And the Puerto Ricans are, the, are fun as shit. Yeah. They are. They're also rowdy. They love to fight. They love to cause trouble. They love, yeah. Fuck. They love to fuck. Yeah, yeah man. Right. And I now love. you're half Puerto Rican. I got a half Puerto Rican. Yeah, my, my, my Not by, half just Puerto by Rican. osmosis, you're half Puerto Rican oh, now. Oh, I am half Puerto Rican, yeah. Well, yeah. he grew up, his aunt, like his aunt, we, we say, uh, <laughs> he grew up in a house where his mom... And his aunt lived on the first floor and the second floor. We so lived on the second floor. Oh, so you are Puerto Rican. His mom was my, his Me aunt, and my mother lived on the second floor, and, and my aunt and her Puerto Rican family lived on Puerto, the first floor. Puerto Rican husband. So his uncle was Puerto Rican, Uncle Victor. And we uncle say the staircases because it was like, you know, like upstairs was like very white, and downstairs was it was like more Caribbean. And the staircase in the middle was the neutral staircase. Neutral staircase. Right. That, like that, that was uh, neutral waters. So that's right. Where you would sit and have meetings and stuff. When, yeah. cause, and my mother, I still <laughs> to this day, is just a little mad that, you know, my aunt brought a Puerto Rican to the house. She, she still? <laughs> Still, <laughs> can't get over it. No, no, no I'm yeah, kidding. No, but she definitely blames her for you know when when my. You say you're Puerto kidding, but, but it's real, isn't it? Yeah, no, no. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Funny. Just I kidding. Mean, Puerto Ricans is just part of his family. It's so part it's of like my culture. That, you know, yeah, yeah I love Puerto Ricans. I love everything Puerto about Puerto Rican. I mean, just were you were you always attracted to Puerto Rican girls? Yeah, wa- I always was because I was. I think the reason why it's right. I always was attracted. My first crush I had five years of five when I was in kindergarten, beautiful Puerto Rican girl. Um, uh, or and but but my cousin who was half Puerto Rican, all her friends were Puerto Rican, and she lived downstairs. And like when we were like 15, 16 years old, I was like their white little fetish. They're like, oh, yeah. you're cute for a white guy. So like all my first sexual experiences were with these Puerto Rican girls. So, so your first was with a Puerto Rican girl. My first was with a half black, half white girl. Ooh. But the first like first time I had sexual intercourse, but the first time I got a blowy besides when I you know I got molested was b- besides from Father <laughs> Bill was by a Puerto Rican girl. Yeah. yeah. You ever, you ever do Puerto Rican? You ever been Puerto Rican? No, no Puerto Rican. But I fell in love with the first girl I loved was was Brown. The first girl I ever like had a big crush on was like Brown. Indian or like? No, Brown. She was Mexican. Mexican, uh, nice. Yeah, but I mean, just like non-white. The first, I remember the first time, I, I, I like so vividly. It was so weird. I was with my dad, and I was at like a. Um, he said, "Son, don't do that again." Yeah, he said. He said, "Niet, niet." <laughs> no, he were, we were. You know what? We were an. O, we were like an OTB or something like that. Like right. my grandfather was a, is a worked at the dog track. My grandfather worked at, in a. In, my grandfather retired and then got a job working at the horse track and then at the dog track. Nice. Yeah. No. To generate, couldn't get away from gambling. Right. Still gambles. He lost the house like six times. Yeah. Good I friends. Believe, got good friends named Joe the Hat. You know, when you were a kid, I didn't know my grandfather's family was like. Our grandfather's friends were like in the mob. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Joe the Hat's not a. That's his. That's how. That's the name he is to me. Yeah. That's who I. Th- I just thought that it's was like a Joe normal thing. Like yeah. Funny. Joe the Hat murderer. Yeah. Right. So he. But uh. But yeah, I was at either OTB or something like that with my dad, and I'll never forget. There was a girl. I was probably twelve, maybe eleven or something. There was this. There was this Mexican chick who might have been fourteen, fifteen. And it was like time stopped. She was the, the 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 most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And at that moment, I realized that's all men have this experience. And you go, I don't know what it is, but I like it. Whatever right. that is, right? I don't know what I it is. It. Yeah, I need it. I want it. And you're going. Yeah. That's it. Because before that, when you're a young boy, you're like, girls, ah, fucking, they're gross. They're weird. They're whatever. But there was a moment as a young boy when you go, what is that? I need. Yeah. I want it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what to do with it if I had it. But I have to have it. That's when you realize you were a straight kid. So, yeah, straight. It's so weird. It's like the moment kicked in of like, yeah. I don't know what it is, but I like that thing. So you're 100% and it, sure you're straight. Huh, that, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, even still. Even yeah. still. So yeah, even still. Wife, he's a cat judge now. Yeah, but, it, yeah he knows. He's got a partner. Yeah. I mean, that's what I think. Like, it, you, who, who's in the closet now? Like it's like it, people people in Bible Belt country. I guess Bible Belt. Yeah, you live yeah. down in Mississippi. You're not telling anybody that you're yeah. sucking dick. Yeah. No fucking way. Yeah. But it is true for the most part. When I still go to small towns and I meet kids that are like, uh, 
you know, you can just tell, you know, that are just like, why are you here? Get, you got to get out of here. Go to a place where no one's going to talk shit about you doing it. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's the fear is like, they can't leave town because that's where they're from. But man, you wish everyone that wanted to be what they wanted to be, you're like, I wish they gave you a free ride to a big city. Right. right so right. you could just do it and no one Nobody would say cares, shit. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's the biggest, well, that's the scare is they can't leave. All their friends and family are there. They can't fucking go anywhere. Do you know right. What, you know, like usual stuff. We should do a thing, a program, sponsor a fag. We should. Get to the city. Yeah. Fa- sponsor, the, sponsor a fag. And then we'll Not sponsor. our podcast. We can't edit oh, it out. Sorry. <laughs> It doesn't but matter. It's a positive thing. I'm saying we're sponsor him. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. kid yeah. so he could come to the big city. We're yeah. like, we don't care. The sentence had a positive and a negative. <laughs> he's a, he's, no, but I'm saying I support the gays. I love the yeah. gays. Yeah. So it's like, you know, and this is a sponsor program where it's like if they're in a small town, you just come in here and it's a sponsor fact program. When you... <laughs> <laughs> When you you know what's so fun you know you know what's great about that not one of my fans who is gay will be mad at you because I love gays yeah. I'm yeah. fucking gay yeah. I'm yeah. in the closet I'm pushing it down yeah. and it's you're not starting. in the closet anybody who saw the first episode that we did together yeah, you got a little drunk you got real gay clips. on me yeah it was like three clips one of them you're like yeah so you know if I get a Claritin D I'll suck a dick another clip was like Gino you're a hot kid I want to sit on your face yeah. <laughs> you were going <laughs> off yeah, imagine me sitting on your face. The nightmare. That not would with be. that tush. Not with that yeah, tush. That brutal. Tush. Nah, you got to be a little bit more thin for that. For me, I can't. I couldn't do that. But what? By the way, if my guy, what would your guy be if you were gay? What kind of guy would you be? like? Who's the famous guy that you that you'd get with if you were gay? I know. Uh, my I guy. know you know. Relax. Straight, you mean straight guy? Any guy in Hollywood. Oh uh, man. If you were gay, who's the guy that you'd go with? Hawk. Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke. What a pick, by the way. Yeah. Because he's such. He's so good at what he what he is. Right. Yeah. He's confident, but he's not like a typical hot guy. He's no. not like stereotypical phony hot guy. Right. That's good. Good. You're gonna go with someone to yeah. typical hot he guy. Just likes a piece of ass. No, no, no. I like to, I want to have a conversation. You're like Bradley you, Cooper I'll, or some no, shit. No, I'll tell you who my two guys are. Who is it? For two different reasons. He knows the first one. Yeah. It's obvious choice. Tom Hardy. <laughs> Um, Dude, you're like my old bag. You're like her. She yeah, loves that I shit. She wants to fuck him so bad. He's a squeak, too. That kid's a squeak. He's a squeak. Yeah, he's, he's a, a short, squeak, squeak. Right? He is tiny. He's like five four. Intellectual guy. I'd like. I'd. I'd like a mod Rashad. That's so good. Why am I Rashad? I'm Rashad and uh, Tom Hardy, because you got to have a diverse pick. It's 2020. <laughs> Yeah, and also guy that's yeah. Ahmad Rashad oh, is really yeah. good. Yeah. That threw me for a loop. I didn't. Th- I thought yeah, you were going to say in the Hollywood line. He loves sports. And I, he's a handsome, handsome man. Yeah. Looks like he smells great, and I, you know he's got a little loop earring. I but like he's that. on the runway now, isn't he old? He nice. Nah, he's, he's fifty. Mm. He's just right. He's got to be 60, 60, 60s. Yeah, 60, yeah, 60 pop. Get cracked open. Ahmad Rashad will get cracked open. He'll get yeah. smashed into pieces, smashed, huh? Yeah. So who, who's what about you? You look like a Ben Affleck type of guy. No, I don't like guys like that. I don't. I don't like that. No, no, no. Because I he he just he looks like a guy that didn't that didn't work that hard, but it happened for him. You know, like like a JFK. Who do you like? I like I like I like secret I like secret success guys guys who are like uh that like we all kind of I, I like guys that are everybody loves but I bet you they're freaks you know like um what's the what's his uh uh uh, uh Jason Bateman yeah wow. yeah yeah, yeah right. good pick J J yeah. Bate yeah quiet yeah. Talented. talented quiet doesn't yeah. bug anybody doesn't yeah. bother people and drama. yeah he's a sw- he's a switch hitter in our business yeah. yeah I like him a lot he's a cute guy I know would fuck the shit out of me yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, so you want to get fucked you by him? Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, Just because he's a cute, no, he's with, boy. With Jason Bateman, you gotta take it. You gotta man. take it because yeah. he's not. A, I'm bigger than him for sure, but yeah. he's not. A, it's just I know he's got a little little rabbit energy. He's got good little yeah, tiny yeah, low to the ground. Respe- it's a respect. Yeah. Thing. It is a respect. It's Jason, it's Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. Yeah. Yeah. Ahmad right. Rashad might have been the pick of the I fucking day though. Wolf. Yeah. yeah. Loved. Yeah. You know what I was thinking when you did that uh, to sponsor uh, uh, homosexual? Sponsor homosexual. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of the movie like Usual Suspects, you know, when Virgil, uh, you know, he, he's walking like the gimp. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the sponsor was just, he's just like walking like a straight guy in his, and then he gets to Los Angeles and slowly just lets <laughs> yeah. himself out. Yeah. That's basically. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. We could do that program. Guys, if you want to donate to the program, please, please donate. No, seriously, yeah. sponsor homosexual. Sp- sp- want to do it. Sponsor a gay would have been fine. Sponsor, Sponsor a, gay. a gay. Get a gay to the city. Yeah. Get a gay to the city. Get That's, a gay to the city. Get a gay to the city is a great yeah. This? I'll be I'll be your gay way to the city. Yeah. How about your gay, gay way? How about your gay, gay I'll, I'll be your gay, gay way to the city. Yeah. You come in, you stay with me for a month, we get you acclimated <laughs> to the new city. Yeah. Um, you know, and we show you that in these big cities, homosexuality is very it's very appreciated. It's supported. Either. It's supportive it's promoted, and promoted, endorsed. So come, you stay by me, you stay by me for a month. Fuck yeah. Stay by me for a month. You know, I tie you up a little bit to the radiator, do what I need to do to you sexually, and then we and then you come out there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so how do we get on the program? Do we need to email you? What's your email? I I, I well, you know what we're we gonna put your good thing going until somebody got tied to a fucking radio. <laughs> yeah, 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 you had yeah, to make no, it. But, but it's torture sex act. is not part of the program. <laughs> yeah. no. no, it's a gay way. Yeah, no, sponsor a gay. Sponsor um, a gay we'll today. We'll sponsor a gay, and um, and yeah, they can email
And uh, I'll, I'll tell you how to get started. <laughs> Dude, you know what's great? Yeah. I'm going to link your email in the description below so people can actually <laughs> email you right this here. year. It's right here, right are you guys? Are you guys touring a little bit? What's going on with dates? I'll, you want to tell yeah. people where you're going to be? Go ahead. Yeah. You want where, me to go first? Where are you guys going to be? Go first, I'll say I got a special on YouTube called... Watch Bl- that shit. Thank you. Fucking Please. Watch it. It's called Blowing the Light on YouTube. Go check it out. Uh, in February, you can catch me at Gotham Comedy Club, February 21st and 22nd. And then Uncle Vinny's uh, February 27th, 28th. He's scratching got, his nuts um, and sniffing his nuts. I'm gonna and, I, and we'll link your website in the description and all that stuff. You got to see this motherfucker. He's funnier than Chris. Chris, go ahead. True, I 100. percent My site chrisdcomedy.com. Um, we got January 25th, Celebrity Theater, Atlantic City. Uh, February 8th, the Kennedy Center, Washington D.C. And February 29th, 30th, Hilarities in Cleveland. Um, Cleveland, also, baby. Also April 18th, Victoria Theater, Newark, New Jersey. So come out. A lot of shows. Um, please come. I like I like, uh, I like, like men. And listen to History Hyenas. Listen to Hyenas. Yeah, that's a great podcast. I did their podcast when I was in New York, and I had a great fucking time. You guys were awesome. And especially for actually, some of the people that were there, yeah, some of the crew uh, that was there. Yeah. 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 You were, I, you, we did a thing. We did a poll. Who is our, their fa- our fans' favorite guest come on. for 2019? And My boys. It Andrew, well, so it was you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. We'll link for you guys to, to go check out all their shows. Shit. Um, well, I'm going to walk away from the camera right now, and you you both have to leave. When I get off, you have to end the episode with either a word or a phrase directly in the camera. So go ahead and do it. Got it. One by one? Yeah. Uh, um, just a word or uh, Trump 2020. That's it. In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.